there's migrating ducks. Can't see them, they're up there. We're gonna give Bandit a second to let me know that there's ducks in the air. All right, and good morning. It's another rainy day on the homestead. Come on, Bandit, let's go. The ducks are gone, it's okay. Can't even hear them anymore. According to my weather app, it should be done raining by one, and if that's the case, if it stops raining and the weather app did not lie to me, we will go put the calves out. They're going through about a 55 pound bale of hay. And we have an abundance of hay that we that we got baled for us at the beginning. No, it was, a, it was about the middle of summer that we got it baled off our property. But I would like to try to preserve that throughout the winter. The more grass they eat outside and can fill their bellies, that makes me happy. They do also get beet pulp and rolled barley alfalfa pellets morning and night. David is currently rotating the chicken pasture right now. Oh, I just looked at my weather app. It actually says it's only supposed to rain around 8 a.m. You know what? I think I'm just gonna go for it. Cows need to be wet sometimes. I think it's gonna be okay. I'm getting more used to the idea that my livestock are going to be in the rain and get wet. Clearly, I am someone who has had a lot of pets. All right, we're going out. We got Nala here on the halter. All right, we're going. I swear Delilah and Cassie are the biggest lollygaggers. I do think that Cassie prefers to stay behind so she could just full speed run get up to the pasture at the last minute. She has the legs for it. She has great legs. Delilah, on the other hand, little has little short legs and she's going to take her sweet time. I just remembered I gotta fill this bucket up. So today Bucket is here. Pose comes out somewhere right there. Probably actually further than that. Let's go turn the water on. Actually, it's not too bad. I can do that. I came to turn the water on and realized at some point my husband must have filled water up for the goats. Whoops. Not as great as I thought. Okay, so just a bit of a difference. Pose, bucket. All right, cows have water. I may be a little out of breath now. Water is filled. That's probably where I have the most resistance in my morning is carrying those darn water buckets. But you know what? I'm sure there's better ways to do this. However, having that moment every morning where I am disciplined and even though this thing feels hard to do and I overcome it and do it anyways, sets the tone for my day to just do things regardless of how I feel about them. All right, I'm gonna let the dogs out potty. And it's time to clean the barn. And I'll just close the gate here and lock the dogs in with me. So they can't cause any trouble out there. I don't wanna discourage anyone from getting a Husky or a Malamute, but if you really love thinking about your dog constantly, it's for you. The last thing I did in the barn here today, well, I guess I did two things. I put a layer of hay, not a thick layer, but you know, just trying to cover up some of the ground and add some more carbon in here. I don't have time to go out and fill the bucket up with sawdust. I just grabbed from this hay over here, spread it around. It's very low quality hay, but Delilah loves it. She loves everything. Delilah's the best. I also did a light dusting of diatomaceous earth on top of everything since I, constantly have the heifers coming back in here every night. I would just like to keep some bacteria and pathogens down if I can. Well, next thing here on my list is to go take this out to the chicken. I forgot to turn on the cow's electric fencing, so I'm gonna go do that on the dog walk. It's time to go in and have breakfast. I'm only making it back to the cow so I can turn their fence on. Dogs are walking. I noticed as I was walking, there were some deer over on my neighbor's side of the fence. I have two very high prey drive dogs and if they see something like that they make eye contact and the deer starts to run. There's always the potential that my dog is going to go around to my neighbor's property to go chase the deer and I may never see my dog again. So my two Malamutes, they are very unobservant which is beneficial in those moments because as long as I don't make a big deal they're not going to notice the deer. Then we added the little alarm dog into the mix. We have a blue healer named Bandit. 
he just sends alarms out. Like he will make the other dogs notice what they didn't notice before because Bandit, who won't go after anything, but notices everything. He has absolutely no problem letting the big dogs know that there is something up and especially Masha, her, when she hears Bandit bark, she perks her ears up and she's looking around at everything. Having high prey drive animals on a farm, that has been a whole different struggle within itself. If it wasn't for electric fencing, I would have a lot less chickens. My two Malamutes are the biggest predators that I worry about on our farm. For the most part, our Malamutes are very obedient, decent listeners, they are very smart, and they do like to challenge you. With that said, if you have Huskies, Malamutes, any kind of animal that is bred to have a high prey drive or was bred to hunt animals, feed themselves, definitely something to take into consideration before getting animals and make sure that you're prepared for that know how are you going to control that situation because once you have a habit of hunting and then it's exciting and rewarding you're going to have a different problem on your hands when it came to the goats we also had similar issues with that prey drive kicking in not so much for masha but this was our uh, our white dog bear this was specific to him we had to take extra precautions to protect the goats the nice thing about the cows is that they're just so large my dogs have a natural fear of them already i had to go back and get my coat I have a bad habit of farm chores getting hot and just leaving my sweaters everywhere anyways that fear of the cows instantly seem to make the dogs feel like oh i can't eat this how am i gonna eat this i don't know if it's the same for all dogs this is my personal experience so don't go get cows and just think your dog's going to automatically behave around them that's not the case with every animal this is the case with my animals and that might also be why i prefer the cows over the other animals is because i don't have that added anxiety whether or not the dogs are just going to go into predator mode and decide to eat a cow that's i just i just know better i know they're not gonna do that all right it's time to go inside and make some breakfast i hope you enjoyed my video today and thank you so much for watching